Welcome to Life in Biology. I'm Dr. Joel Graff, and this is episode number five. Today we're going to be talking about humorism, in other words, the four humors. Um, this is a concept that was uh, that explained medicine for about 2,000 years. So we'll do about 2,000 years in five minutes. How about that? But first, I want to start off with a um, with the little show and tell. This is my son. Uh, drew this when he was about uh, first grade, maybe early second grade. Uh, he drew this guy, and if you have kids, you might recognize him, or if you watch the Cartoon Network, you might recognize him. This bald, this bald cartoon character with an arrow on his, on the top of his head. His name's Ang, and he's he's an avatar, the last Airbender, and Ang lived in this uh, kingdom that was made up of of uh, four nations, and the four nations were at war. There are the Water Tribes, Earth Kingdom, Fire Nation, and Air Nomads. And so these nations were at war, and they'd have superpowers kind of based on what what element they were. And this is a it's a great concept, and uh, uh, except for it wasn't new to that show. Uh, everyone knows that. Um, we, th there are four elements that that uh, that were thought to have been back in the day, and these elements, air, fire, water, and earth, can be put on a graph with moist and dry in this direction, warm and cold in this direction. So moist and warm is air, warm and dry is fire, dry and cold is earth, cold and moist is water. So those are the four elements. Um, this sort of concept of four can be applied to other things as well. Um, something that can easily come to mind is the seasons. You have spring, summer, autumn, and winter uh, for your four seasons that would fit into each of these uh, quadrants that have these, uh, these characteristics. But we're going to be talking about uh, the four humors, and this is something that uh, Hippocrates is credited with, and um, it w this this theory was was built up for at least 600 years and and through through the time of Galen, but here the four humors they're they're vital fluids in the human body is 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 what was thought, and so for warm and dry we have yellow bile and there's an organ the spleen was supposed to be important for for yellow bile, and dry and cold is black bile and the gallbladder was the important organ for that and phlegm is cold and moist and it was thought to be associated with the lungs and the brain and moist and warm is blood and it was thought that all the blood came from came from the liver at that time so what Hippocrates suggested was that an imbalance between these four humors, these four vital liquids, is what caused sickness. And so if you, if you have someone that's sick, as a physician, your job is to get those back in balance, either through therapies or through diet. Um, extending on the, the, the four humors idea, um, we move into the four temperaments, uh, and this is really what Galen added to Galen added to the uh, to the mix. Although Galen was was kind of a weird guy, or he 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 did things that we wouldn't consider very ethical right now. Um, as a physician, he wanted to understand how bodies work, and human human dissection was illegal at the time, but he would dissect animals. And oftentimes the animals were alive, so that's a, a live dissection is called a vivisection. Um, and he also was a physician for for gladiators, and so these gladiators would get these giant wounds, and he'd be able to uh, poke around in there and try to figure out where the humors are coming from and uh, that sort of thing. So, uh, kind of kind of a, an interesting uh, things that he saw and did, but he stretched um, the the four humor ideas to also include the four temperaments. Um, so moist and warm, this would be sanguine, which is kind of a courageous type of, of temperament. Warm and dry is choleric, it's easily angered. 
You can also have melancholic, which is despondent or sleepless. And then cold and moist was phlegmatic, phlegmatic. Um, who knows how to say it, I don't. Um, but this would be calm and unemotional. Uh, so uh, just like just like Wally, my son Wally enjoying a program that, that broke down, things down into four easily easy um, categories that you can wrap your mind around. This is, uh, this is the way that the early physicians tried to um, categorize and understand the human body. Now, this, uh, this thought or this way of, of understanding medicine, it started out in the in when the Greek dynasty was around, went through the whole Roman Empire stage, uh, when the Muslims had um, a big empire uh, around 1000 AD. Uh, they they kept up this philosophy. Um, medieval Europe, they took on this uh, understanding of medicine as well, and it really it persisted to around 1900 A.D. or so when when modern science took over. And this is kind of tracking Western civilization for the most part, but the Chinese also had a very similar um, way of of categorizing medicine. So anyway. That's a little bit of um, medicine history for you today. Uh, thanks for watching.